Sometimes you are faced with clinical situations where it's clear uh, you have, um, for example, a high stage uh, disease, a lot of number of nodes that are positive, for example, or a larger tumor, and you also have biologic features of the tumor that appear aggressive. So there your decision making is usually relatively straightforward in uh, whether or not to uh, give a systemic chemotherapy, for example, or give other more intensive types of adjuvant therapy for curative intent. However, uh, there are um, situations that meet us every week in our clinical practices um, that are so are discordant in the sense that the stage of disease, the tumor volume, the disease burden may be very high, but the biology of the cancer appears to be favorable or indolent. So that's one area that's a challenge clinically to um, decide how to treat the patient. And then there's the other side, equally discordant, but very small tumors, for example, that have very aggressive biology or unfavorable biologies. And in that case, you also struggle with what, what should drive your decision making. Uh, what should drive it in the sense of should you ignore the fact that the patient may have a very good prognosis in terms of their tumor size, but have this aggressive biology and you should pay attention to the biology and not the, not the stage.